there's there's been different points in time where effects have gone in and out of favor. Okay, I came up in the '80s when while uh, stuff was swimming in effects, you know. So I've kind of I, I started at a time and. I had to actually train myself not to use as many effects until the appropriate time, you know. So going back and finding a balance between times before they had all the effects and, uh, you know, like I love records back in the 70s, for example, because there were still effects and things were coming in, but there still wasn't a whole lot going on and people were still limited by 24 track or maybe locking up two machines and having 48 tracks, but it wasn't going crazy quite yet, you know, with all the capabilities. But when um, digital devices became so prevalent and new effects became, you know, just all over the place, so easy to get some things, you know, it's a new toy, so a lot of people wanted to overuse it. So when the 80s came, you know, effects were swimming in, in things, and now, you know, I think um, the lesson that you learn is just find a, strike a balance, you know, because all the different errors have different pluses and minuses of them. So strike a balance and learn from the best and save that part and discard the other part that you don't need.